all right welcome back to the channel i'm king of bad in today's video we're back with xcom chimera squad uh we are going to do this mission to, for the anarchy event it's happening in this one because we let it the uh let it go too high because last time we couldn't do the mission there because the investigations mission had eight days left on it which was going to be too long for us to control from the hostels. so this mission this mission came because the the unrest takes over entering through here marks your units until the end of the encounter all units are going to enter overwatch through it this is just a bad interest overall i don't like when the people are marked because they're just easier to hit for what is no reason pretty much so here i actually want to use that ceasefire bomb that blue blood has yeah and we'll save the scan for the next entrance Keep behind me or the next encounter all of the weapons are disabled i think i don't know if it, this one didn't have the little picture saying it was disabled so i'm not sure about it still took it out first though so it didn't matter but everything else can really just be picked at reducing overall health although i should have started with the alert enemies Especially with the shot that I knew was pretty much guaranteed to hit. We're doing the progeny though, so it doesn't seem like the stuff that they do during their alerts aren't as bad as with the um the ones who have the guardians because of the shields. I'll talk about that in the last episode. Now we got a few panics in here too. Or at least one which is pretty good though considering he's coming in with no rage i forgot about that side Anything domain thing that they do which increases that psionic move, uh damage that they do all of them are trying to escape i'm gonna start off with this because we want to try and take out as many people as we can or at least to be as close to berserk as we can be on the edge who wants some? we play this right we could also get a bunch of turns out of him ready for action first only use smash on whoever the number two person is only a 59 why is i don't see how the chances of this stuff to hit changes but i'm still gonna take that chance okay that misses All right we can use running gun i'm leaving him in a terrible or it's finna leave him in a terrible position. i was gonna move him over here at first not the best spot for him because he'd be right in the middle pretty much move him back to right here and then he still has that shot after using smash too who do you have the highest chance him him okay well we're just gonna shoot them then they're pretty uh, they're pretty close to being next in the turn order i was hoping to hit the number two or the one who's running on the other side oh i forgot we had this cool never mind didn't have to worry about them they're still panicked okay who can we see from here with that out we might be able to take that thrall out or do a decent amount of damage to that bomber Let's try and get them out we almost got him all right i'm trying to talk and bite my the skin off my lip i don't even know why i'm doing it go for this shot here right and then i want to see if i can line anything up with this oops you want to aim for the fleshy bits i didn't use lightning hands huh that's what i should do And they're back up there were a lot of people grouped up right in here this isn't gonna go off well actually i want to get this in there that's that doesn't matter what else can we see does it offer me the opportunity to put it on okay cool i thought that was it trying to tell me i can put it on a civilian Let's go for Ruining a sticky bomb on the number 10 because I'm probably going to fall back towards two. That'll rush across that way. Yeah. Cool. 
works out perfectly didn't even think that the number two was gonna die i just thought i was gonna deal some damage to him and then we can drop this bomb Let's see who can we see and take a shot off i don't want to even bother shooting at you number seven's probably not gonna do too much anyways i'm gonna put it in overwatch like this then that way if number two moves closer we'll shoot at them if they try to move towards that though they're gonna get or they're gonna get shot at That makes sense too. Those two are definitely too close to each other. That's gonna go off before Axiom gets a turn. But if he berserks here and goes somewhere else, oops. off the crest. <laughs> Still with us. If that didn't get shrugged off, uh, that didn't even make sense. That not to get shrugged off. Oh, I started my own playthrough. Uh, for the different version to see the last one. Got the other ability where he heals when he does this thing. It looks way cooler. Also way more useful than his aura. Glad you're on our side. Interesting. And I forgot to move him too. I forgot Soul Fire acts as a shot and ends the turn. Oh, but he heals himself after he returns, so that's fine. His rage is up to five now. Target kill. There's the berserk. I was gonna say he should be berserking pretty soon. Let's see if it hits though. Yeah, it does. That's fine. I did one mission where I spit by the door, like the exit that they're supposed to do with Torque. And then they jumped out the window to the side that wasn't marked for their exit at all. So I guess it's just so they don't have to kill themselves or you can't just like lock them in. Makes sense. This is pretty interesting how they did that. For the lightning cans here. And I don't think anybody was by them, right? No, he was. Okay. Uh he didn't know we could go in there. I thought he just jumped out of the map. See if he lands the shot. Uh, it would have been nice if he did, because then we just got a free turn by killing something by our teammate. Go for the dead eye. And why is that ending this turn? I don't think that's supposed to be. Now let's oh I did do that in the, the wrong order. I was supposed to start with dead eye and then do lightning hands. So maybe that's what it was. And we'll just go for this shot. That's all we can do, really. Of course we missed it. Missed my target. Moving on target. Oh, they're gonna get away. Get away with this one health. Do you see Axiom? Yeah. Uh, that's going to end my turn anyway, so. Doesn't matter if I'm there or not. He didn't get his turn, which I thought I thought he wasn't gonna get his turn. I could move up to here and use land shot to kill him. Cause I know land shot goes through the walls and everything. Yeah. All right. So nobody got away still. I'll take it. It's a shame you had to die that way, cause that was really useless. That's like using your ult to kill one person in games where you have this big ultimate ability. We do have an explosive entrance. And with Claymore doing it, it's gonna rupture people by the breach points too. It's gonna make them easier to kill. You have the ceasefire, so we wanna use your hollow scan. Do I wanna use it now? Yeah, probably so. I think I wanna save it for the last one. You can use the med patch now though, for sure. No reason to not Opening heal. A side door. Seventy three to hit the the aggressive one. Uh, 
probably shouldn't take that chance with only a 65 especially with blue blood who i know is here who has who's probably gonna have a higher chance of hitting we'll go for the thrall though what's his chance hit? 70 let's go for the 70 percent i don't think it's that much better than shelters but he still landed his shot so it doesn't matter for a land shot on the cobra i don't know what the cobra can do during the breach it's probably gonna just hunker down or something like that right Recycling. yeah okay that's what i thought i didn't think it was gonna do like poison spit or something i didn't want to wait and see either is that the one where it brings someone back yeah okay No, I want to use the Renault bomb. I don't need to hit that zombie. It'd be better if I can move out here first. So this acid bomb, where are they trying to get to? Let me zoom out. They're trying to move back towards there. So I throw this as far back as I can to try and get them to move in a certain way. I'm gonna drop it to where it hits the number three. Grenade out. It's also gonna block number six. Number six is direct path to the exit. That or the AI is gonna try and run through it anyways. Drop this right about. I want to get the number 11 and 6 dude in it. Yeah, there we go. Shrapnel, out. I think that's going to end the turn now. Nope. Didn't think someone was going to get closer, but I also don't think I know that the uh, Acolyte's whole moveset. I don't think it's anything to be more afraid of now. Uh, I was going to say, is it going to do something? I don't think I've ever had an issue with the Spectre Zombies yet. So I'm not really concerned with that one. I don't think it's really time to use that. To relocate with who's number two? It's gonna push them down in the turn order, also. A relocate with number two, and then go for a shot on number three. I have an angle on number three person. Doesn't look like I do. I was hoping I did have a shot on them, like number two now it is. Now I can just take them out and not have to deal with their running. I could just overwatch for it. I'll do. I'll do it like this. Yeah, that way that will catch them to try and cut across in front of us. Like that. Cool. Worked out just as I thought it would. That was impressive. And you can just psych up and use subdue on the number two person. Actually, let's use team up too. Do I need to use team up? I don't think so. We're pretty good over here. That Cobra is going to go pretty soon though. I might as well still just use subdue because either way, I'm going to either I was going to use subdue here or over here. I'm just going to take out one of the people going to go next. We also have to hit the, that number seven acolyte before it drops claymore and deals that damage. And I think it disorientates also. Both of them are immune to the poison. I don't know why that broke though. Now you pay it back. I think that's going to increase the damage that that does. So that's going to be an issue also. For the dead eye shot here. can't see anything that's happening i just had a feeling when well, i had a feeling it just told me it was gonna kill so i went for it is this gonna end the turn it's gonna shoot at that zombie that resonant the cobra 
Well, what's the chances of hitting that acolyte? Because if I can take out the acolyte, then we save Claymore. That drop. Which we did. Okay, cool. So we're still going to get Claymore's turn. I don't know who's controlling this zombie, though. This? Oh. You cannot keep me down. It sounds like such a wimpy slap, though. This necromancer. This resonant, I guess, is who brought this in because I haven't done anything to it. Go for a sticky grenade. On the number eight, dude. Maybe number eight will move towards the two. Not two. Four? Yeah, the number four. No. no. So then I am going to use team up on. Actually, I don't think I still. I still don't think I need to. We're going to go for this on the resonant, though. Oh, I guess I have been doing damage to the resident. Just been standing there. Let's go for this shot then. Knocked it. All right. It'd be cool if that aura didn't allow them to get any closer. They're gonna flash and mute everything. No, okay. I don't know where this one's going at all. They might die from the acid burn on their own, though. If they don't make it to the exit and leave at the same time. And yeah, they're going to die on their turn from acid burn. So I don't have to worry about the number nine. The only thing I would have to worry about is it's zombies, which as long as I just stay away from won't be a problem. So who's left with me? The Cobra and the number nine person. Where's this Cobra at? Cobra's growing number three. Relocate with. Can I relocate with the Cobra? Relocate with Claymore. Oh, that's creepy. I'm go for a shot on them. Way better chances. So that's the power of that move. I could just put someone else who has a turn now there. Especially with how good the chances were to hit. And you can only use smash here or here. You can use running gun. So ready for this. And run you all the way up to here. Just talked about how I should just stay away from the spectral zombies and then I wouldn't have to deal with them. They have no cover. You should be able to hit them. Yeah. And that takes everything else out. And that one dude have four of them. I think that's the most I've seen. Yeah, because they reanimated one and then summoned two more. Did I say four? I guess it was only three. I was four people with three summons. Still the most I've seen. All units to this entrance get plus 50 dodge for one round. Accent can lead. Shelter as the hollow scan. Uh, yeah, like this. And blue black can clean up anything that's missed, pretty much. Or anything that we need killed missed. That was missed. I don't think this dude's gonna make it, though. Try and take out both of these uh aggressive enemies. Try not to take any damage during the breach. Go for this shot. We can make that uh almost hundred percent. As long as he doesn't miss a 99 again. Target and this is the last one, so we can let everything go now. Use Adrenal Surge. And then keep psyching up because we want to do all the damage we can. Also, the higher his rage, the more likely... I think it's the more likely he hits or the more damage he does. And then it also increases the, amount, the chance that the effects will go off. So like a stun or a disorientate will go off. Armor soften the blow. 
and we can reach the number two person now I think yeah that's one of the ones we want to hit we have a hundred percent chance to hit too so maybe we'll actually do an effect i think he has that ability yeah disorientate they might make it no they're not gonna make it. covering flanks i don't want anyone to make it target weapon in sight please keep wasting your effort okay the overwatch is fine might as well try this out now two places at once and this one oh that's pretty cool yeah okay now this one can use soul fire and relocate A relocate does it in the turn? No. So we'll relocate out with the number five one then. We're just gonna bring it down in the turn order, right? Or not. No, that's not good. Oh well. And then use soul fire on the number four, either way. Which is gonna push them down in the turn order. Because that was a part of that. That was a part of that ability from the beginning. I don't know what Bloodlust does. I've never seen it before. Oh, that's okay. Those are the dudes that jump around the map the whole time. All right. Oh, but he still gets his turn. That's going to end the turn. Relocate's going to end the turn. We can go for a chain shot here, though. We have an 82% chance to hit. Those all relied on the first one hitting. You will get them next time. But you did. I should have used team up since this bomber is right in our face. Oh, we have more time than I thought we did for its turn. That or I looked at something wrong and I've always had this, the same amount of time. Probably shouldn't do this and just move, move up. Just team up on shelter though. Have him go again. Right. And we can move. Let's just take this shot, actually. Shelter doesn't have to try again on killing the bomber. Target just stopped. have him take it out. Especially since I think his stuff, well, his stuff does more damage, so there's a higher chance to kill no matter what. On this brood, we can use. Actually, let's do it on the who's running right now. Actually, the raid is running with their stun, and then number six is on the objective. Can we see number six? I oh, think we can, right? Number seven. Oops. It's not, I don't even know how it's doing this, but oh, uh, okay. It just switched to subdue. That was my fault. Uh, um, don't know what went on with that one. But whatever we relocate the number six person relocate and we use soul fire on the number three and push them down in the turn order it's funny how axiom just ducked to let him shoot over the top now dead eye first think fast Still got it. Then we use lightning hands. And then I can do whatever I want to do next. This is to take both of them out, right? At least it looks like it will. I don't know why the bruiser isn't lighting up. Oh, this is the bruiser. Okay. I thought the bruiser was this dead body on the ground. Makes sense on why it looks weird. I don't think it's gonna hit both of them. What what are my chances of just shooting it anyways? That's a pretty Heads decent up. chance. Cool. 
We almost took it out immediately. I didn't think we would, though. And they're probably going to go for shelter now, right? But poison right by the... He's immune to that. I don't think that explosion hit him either. So that was pretty pointless. I think they only poisoned the, the like, ghostly shell of him. Which doesn't mean anything. Over this and that. We haven't even hit this uh, hitman in the corner because I didn't also even see him for real. I was more concerned with everybody who was closer. How can you miss such a big target? Oh no, we did have him go. He just went over there and went to Overwatch, and then pretty much did the same thing. Missed the shot when it's Overwatch. Throwing grenade. Maybe this thing will collapse and deal damage to him, though. Drop to hostile. What are the chances of this? Too low to even bother trying. Let's see if this generator is a good uh, piece of armor. Be okay with them. Move them into the acid of their team. I think that's another power play for that right there. So now he's poisoned. Doesn't matter though, because he's still we'll gonna die. But friend. now if they drop poison on me. Oh, they've dropped poison on Shelter. Shelter's just going to teleport out and drop one of their teammates in it. That's a pretty cool move, too. And with the ghost, I guess I'll call it the ghost. With the ghost, it would be able to move two people into it. Only issue with the ghost at that point, though, is they were standing on the objective. So I wouldn't want to swap those two out. Be dumb. change about downtown is the traffic we need to run at least three elevated highways through the starport which won't happen for reasons of global security 20 minutes to drive six blocks city of the future my ass and we had that one before that already in my head before all right so last time i said the voice on the radio is never your friend what about me good old floyd never steered you wrong are we pals? Hmm? Am I your friend? Of course not. You don't know me. You don't know what I want from you. I say I want you to think for yourself. What if I want to make you feel like you already do? Know why someone wants you to think, and you'll know what they want you to think. 